Hi, so I'm back with day two of uh, 10 days of Ayurveda where I share with you some self-care or just daily routine activities that I typically do. And this one I'm very excited about because if you know me, you know that I have a passion for bowel movements, BMs, making sure that all my friends and family are going regularly. What is the shape? What is the color? What is the texture? Um, so in Ayurveda, the digestive system is at the root of all disease or illness, um, and the digestive system is referred to as the Agni, A-G-N-I, and yeah, I dealt for a long time with chronic constipation, and I later discovered that I uh, was diagnosed with endometriosis, and that is actually one of the main um, symptoms of endometriosis for any woman out there who might be dealing with chronic constipation that has sort of no rhyme or reason. I would highly suggest that you get an ultrasound to check that out. That's on a side note, and I can share more about that later. But I wanted to say that this um, part of my daily routine, it involves something called Tripola. This is Tripola powder. I also have an extract here. This one's a bit more expensive, which is why I actually switched over to the powder just to have a little bit more in bulk um, and spend less money. And it's from Banyan Botanicals, which I also featured in the first video, and I'll link them below. And so this helps in maintaining regularity. What I do is I have this little mason jar here and I put a little bit of water and I'll put about like 30 drops. I'll just do the extract right now and just put it into that mason jar and then just take it like a shot in the evening before bed. Um, some of One of my friends um, had great results with it. She used it and she actually put it in tea. Um, so you can do that as well. And it's actually made up of three different um, dried fruits. So I'll read a little bit from the the package here. Um, so it's recommended and used more than any other Ayur Ayurvedic herbal formulation. And once I become certified as an Ayurvedic counselor, this is actually one of the formulations that I can technically prescribe to patients. And that's why I'm so passionate about it because I feel like it's one of those, it's like almost, it's non-habit forming. And I know that when many people start down the road of um, laxatives, I don't know why I said start down the road, but you know what I'm trying to say. When you start taking them, they can become habit forming and then not really good for your system, where Trifola actually has multiple functions. So popular for its unique ability to gently cleanse and detoxify the system while simultaneously replenishing and nourishing it. Um, it's a traditional formula supports the proper functions of digestive, circulatory, respiratory, and um, genitourinary systems, right? Um, translated as three fruits, it's composed of the dried fruits of amalaki, um, bipitaki, and harataki containing five of the six tastes. So in Ayurveda, I have a post further down that talks about um, the six tastes. So it's kind of um, all the different six tastes that you can access through foods and herbs um, and how they create balance in the body. So they have five of the six tastes, all except for salty. And it readily removes excessive um, excess in vata, which is one of the body types, pitta and kapha. Those are the three doshas or body types and sort of the um, they can be found in, in all of our all of our bodies, so vata, pitta, or kapha, and bringing balance and proper functioning to the system. And it's commonly taken as a daily supplement. So I loved that when I learned that from my teachers, that many people just take it as a daily supplement, and now I do, and it feels so good. And to maintain and balance your doshas or your body type. Um, and so also amalaki, one of them, is high. It's an antioxidant, high in vitamin C for those of you who for any reason are trying to get that, I wanted to point that out as well. And again, suggested use is a quarter to half a teaspoon with warm water once or twice daily or directed by your health practitioner. And I feel that even if you wanna run this by your primary care, I'm learning more and more that um, modern medical doctors are so open to the use of um, herbs, especially one like Trifla that they can easily look up. And Bonnie Botanicals does a great job of explaining what, um, what the product does, there are a lot of, on PubMed, you can get many articles that support research and also maybe can break things down if you truly um, have a specific condition where you really wanna run it by your practitioner. Otherwise, I would say this is probably one of the things that, I don't often say that because I always wanna be careful because everyone is unique and Ayurveda definitely like um, values and honors that. But this is one of the things that I would say um, I would highly recommend and what else did I want to say? Yeah, and I just think, in addition to kind of what I started with, that for women, 
you know, two markers or indicators for your health is one, your menstrual cycle, right? Your period. And then number two for everyone and women as well is your bowel movement, seeing if they're dry, if, you know, what are they looking like? And so this is just a nice way to maybe start noticing if there's any changes positive um, going on in the digestive system. Um, so again, this is the powder, this is the extract. And yeah, and this is again, like you might not think of this as like self-care, but I do because especially when you've dealt with chronic constipations, having all those toxins and things stuck in your system will make you depressed, will make you anxious because the gut is like our first brain. And there's more and more research every day to support that. And so this to me is like the number one line of de like, uh, what am I trying to say? The number one um, just support that we can use um, in primary care and primary prevention of any type of disease. Um, yeah, so I hope that's helpful. I'll be back with some more tips. And if you'd like to learn more about my webinar or to join or sign up for my webinar, it's going to be Saturday, February 12th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Zoom. You can sign up in my bio and I will shortly send you the Zoom link. And thanks for watching. Of course, any questions you have, leave in the comments because I'm just kind of doing this off the cuff, like as you can tell. So if you have any more questions or something wasn't fully explained or you want to add something to what I said, feel free to do that in the comments and I look forward to sharing something else later. Bye.